Hey everyone, uh, Water Bound here, stepping out of bounds in the garden. Hey, it's so hard, it's so hard to walk around here without wanting to make a dozen videos and you have ADHD. Uh, but the butterflies are practically dancing around me. Not fluttering, they're freaking dancing. Pollinators in action. Okay, right here is Echinacea. All right, say, with, say that with me again. Echinacea, also called the purple coneflower, if you want to be pedestrian. Uh, these are fantastic pollinators. Uh, just, my wife doesn't like them that much, but uh, don't tell her. Don't say I said that. In the fall, the seed heads turn into a central food for birds like the American goldfinch, New Jersey state bird. I mean, they go crazy for them. Even if the plants look scraggly and they, you know, it's, it's, they, they look dead, it's food, right? And I really don't cut them back. I, I might do a few, but what I do is just like I break up the seeds and then I like I, I give them to the birds, like bird buffets, right? Uh, native versus non-native plants. Now, here's a little tip for for y'all. I'm um, sorry, I'm, I'm from New Jersey. I shouldn't be talking like that. Uh, there are lots of cultivators of echinacea. You see them in these fancy, obscure techno colors. They, they actually turn my stomach a little bit. Um, frilly petals, but they're not truly native. Uh, you know what? Uh, they're almost like hybrid mutants. They're pretty, kind of but not really useful to wildlife based on what I've been reading. And so you want to stick stick to the natives, right? And then there's this, the, the butterfly bush. Butterflies like it the same way kids like candy or addicts like junk food. Uh, it doesn't support caterpillars or the larger ecosystem. And it's it's invasive, right? They, they, they get food from it just like you can exist on like snicker bars for a while, but <laughs> you don't want to make a daily diet of that, right? 24/7. Uh, admit though, I have two of them. I have a dwarf one and another one. I keep it. I keep it trimmed, but I'm slowly weaning them out in favor of the native plants that actually feed the whole pollinator life cycle. Not a single caterpillar makes their home out of a butterfly bush. Oh, that's not that good, people. All right, garden philosophy: stick with natives whenever you can. Right, find out what grows in your area, and yeah, the it, it might get nibbled by the deer, but hey. <laughs> That's the idea. Uh, avoid hybrids and color engineered plants. I, I don't like them. If your goal is to support your local ecosystem. Beautiful gardens are great, but healthy gardens are better. All right, everyone, my name is Walter Bound, and this is not the end of the story. Uh, stay balanced and love the Erda.